Greetings, WCCS families. This is Scott Dillon, head of school at Westminster Catawba Christian School, and I have with me uh, our elementary principal, Mrs. Joanna Swafford, and we are on a Zoom call uh, so that we can be socially distanced, but also share with you uh, two thank yous. One, a quick thank you from last week, a thank you for Teacher Appreciation Week. Parents, you did an outstanding job of honoring, loving, caring for our faculty and staff. You did it in a COVID-sensitive uh, manner, um, but in a way that, that our teachers were really blessed. One teacher said out loud to me that this was just what the doctor ordered, and I thought in a COVID year, what a great comment to make. So parents, thank you for loving our folks so very well this last week. And because you have done so well in that, I want to thank you ahead of time for filling out a survey for us this next week. Um, on this next week, you are going to be receiving a survey from me um, that's got two parts to it. Uh, the first part is um, from our, our consultant who is uh, working with us on enrollment management, looking to help us do the best job that we can in enrolling uh, the, the families that, who are most interested in our school. Um, and it's a kind of a parent satisfaction uh, survey. And we have coupled that with our uh, with some some questions to uh, for as part of our reaccreditation process. We are kicking off our five year uh, self study. Every five years, we go through a reaccreditation process where we are um, preparing ourselves for a site visit. Um, but the the survey that you will get. Um, has some questions both for parent satisfaction and also uh, with regards to this reaccreditation where we are looking for ways that we, things that we're doing well and areas that we can continue to improve. Um, Joanna Swafford is a, a committee leader of one of those committees on the self-study and I've asked her to share with us, share with you a little bit about the reaccreditation process so that it puts a context around this survey that is coming up. So Joanna, if you would share with us. Thanks, Scott. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my screen so that everybody can see while I talk about the accreditation process. Um, basically, wanted to give you the, the basics. What is it? It's an assurance of quality standards being met by us. Uh, we want to make sure we're doing what we say we're doing. Who, who accredits? Who's our accreditation agencies? It's Association of Christian Schools International as well as Cognia. Um, and then why? Why do we do this? Because we're called to do so uh, by God. Uh, Paul states in Philippians 1.10, so that you may approve what is excellent and so be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. Uh, let me lead you through the process of accreditation. The first one is a nine to 12 month process uh, that is a self-study. We split into committees like Scott mentioned and we do a lot of review work um, that helps us know what we need to improve and what we do pretty well. Uh, part of that self-study is the surveying of parents, faculty, staff, alumni, and students. Uh, we're looking for commendations, as I said, and recommendations. And the goal of it is to constantly be improving what we do. The goal is continuous school improvement. Um, the standards are listed here, uh, and we, we look into all of these standards pretty deeply so that when the team comes to visit us in March of 2022, we can provide them with all the data we've collected. Uh, they can look at that and they can give us a, their seal of approval. Um, Scott, there's a lot of people that are on that, that visiting team that comes in March, isn't there? There, there are. There will be five to seven folks uh, from other Christian schools. Some are administrators, some are teachers, some um, some staff members in, in, in different forms. Um, they're, and they're coming from a variety of schools. And, and their purpose, they are coming to help us. They're coming to help us flourish. Um, and, and Christian schools do this with each other. Uh, I was on an accreditation site visit at Calvary Day School in Winston-Salem about a month ago where I went and I was on that visit team that went and, and looked at their school and, and left them with commendations and recommendations. Joanna gets to do it with a school up in Lake Norman, uh, I think in April. Um, right. So we do this together. We our, our desire as Christian schools is that we partner together, help each other flourish. Um, we, we want what's best for, for students who are receiving Christian, edu Christian educations in, in, in a variety of kinds of schools. Um, so that's kind of the process. That's what we have coming up. And that's where we need your help with this survey. Um, the survey will cover each of those eight standards that Joanna just showed you on the screen. If you would um, fill out this, it's a confidential survey, it, it's, but it's one that you'll get an email from me on Wednesday, March 10th. 
And you'll have about two weeks. We're going to close it down on the 24th. But if you would take time, it's going to take about 10 or 15 minutes. But we really need every family to let us know how we're doing, um, how we're doing in those categories, and then how satisfied you are. We want to continue to meet your needs. We want to continue to, to chase hard after our mission as a ministry of Westminster Presbyterian Church. We exist. We, the reason we are doing this is to educate students, to bless our world as disciples of Christ. And we want to keep doing that really, really well. We want to get better at doing that. So we need your help. So thank you for last week. Thank you ahead of time for filling out this survey. And thanks for your time and listening to this video. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.